position Yeah, no one seems to listen I'm a bait for these fishes And that heavy weight hasn't been lifted I haven't given myself a chance to get in Know my life tomorrow ain't a given perspective It's my religion, but I'm still praising self-image now I'm a hypocrite, I'm not used to this Everything I say and do is an experiment Trying to understand what breaks me down I'm used to this, life throws my head around It don't give a hum. People say they want to save the day But if they open their ears, it would have made a way Into my empty mind, into my empty heart Into my empty soul, hope your ears will close Maybe you'll understand why So lost in my own mind Yeah, I'm losing all sense of time If overthinking was a crime I'll be behind the lines Yeah, I'm just trying to stay afloat Stray away from me. I, 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 I'm here with Nishe Iman. Um, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, I just wanted to talk about your, your latest release and some of your upcoming uh, works. Uh, mm -hmm. So your latest release, Transition. Um, it's it's really groovy. It's Thank got you. some it's 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 awesome. It's fun. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of energy to the record, mm -hmm. but I also think you you dive into some personal personal stories there. Right. Um, so I just wanted to know, uh, you know, how how you approach uh, making your music, uh, mm -hmm. whether or not you write first, or you know, you kind of look for beats first, or yeah. how you handle that. Yeah. So before I really start writing my songs, I just find a really groovy beat, and I kind of stick with the same producers. So they kind of give me like free beats. So I'm like, hey, thank you. <laughs> so when they give me that, it's just like, it gives me the opportunity to just be myself. So as soon as I hear the beat, I'm like, okay, what topic do I want to do? You know what I'm saying? Or what would sound good with this? And usually it just depends on the beat's vibe. If it's like low and, you know, very calm. I'll just be like, okay, I'll go like love or something like that. But it's funky and something. That's that's when I can really be creative. I can really just start talking about whatever because it really is about that chorus, I'm trying to be, make it catchy. So that's what I really do. I really listen to the beat first before I really start writing. So yeah. when you're like get when you get sent a beat or like you're you're in the studio, yeah. How often or how long do you sit with the beat? You know, do you kind of like write over it for it a little really bit? It really depends. If the beat is like fire, <laughs> <laughs> I immediately just start writing whatever. And if the beat is a little more complicated, it's just like a loop, and somebody's like, hey, I want you to write on this. I'll kind of build on the beat later, but I want you to just do something on that loop. It takes me a minute just because it's looping. And it's the same beat over and over again. But I find myself, it's, it's still a different creative process. You know, I just write whatever on my mind. But yeah, I do, it just really just depends on that beat, yeah. So when, when you're kind of working with those producers, do you feel like, you know, since you've been able to work with some of the similar producers over your songs, mm -hmm. you've kind of built a relationship with those producers? Oh, for sure. Yeah, and I think what really happened is um, I have a engineer and he, he really helped me out. His name is Ocean. He's really cool. And he really helped me out to reach out to these producers and say like, hey, I love your beat, I love uh, the way you style this, can you, you know, uh, I'll just make it a negotiation, basically. And from that, we have friendships, I'll like shout them out whenever I have their beat. Or sometimes I'll do is that I'll go on Instagram or something and just sing like a little snippet that I have on my Instagram and they'll be like, oh my gosh, it's fire, I'm gonna send it to you. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, let's do it. So it's, it's just really that bond that I really like. And plus I really appreciate their art. So I just I just love going back to them and it's really great. Yeah. yeah. So as you've been doing this, have you kind of found yourself getting more people like reaching out being like, hey, I got this beat I need to show you. Like, yes, yeah. yes. And it, it's kind of overwhelming in a way just because you get a whole bunch of messages of 
a whole bunch of people saying, oh, can you do this and this and this? And not all of them, you know, are the best. I'm not even gonna joke, but but I try my best to be like, yeah, I'll listen to it. I'll make sure to and reach back out to you and whatever. And usually it's just a little overwhelming, but I, I do like going through beats and stuff like that. So when it comes to like your musical influence, mm -hmm. um, are, what are some artists or even just like, you know, family members who were musicians or, you know, friends, you know, yeah. who have inspired you as an artist? Yeah, so right now I'm really into Doja Cat. She is amazing. Her lyrics are amazing. The way she flows on a beat is just amazing. And I just love that she changes it up every single time. It's not just rapping, she can sing, she dances, like she's everything. And that's what I wanna be like at the end of the day. I wanna just be different. I wanted my stuff to be diverse. And I don't wanna just stick to one genre, you know? Like R&B is cool, but like, I kinda like dibble and dabble in like rap or spoken word, you know what I'm saying? And it's really fun and it's, it's good to look up to somebody who's doing that same thing and just being able to be like, okay, this is what I want to do, you know? Yeah. And I also I also look up to people who have the same tone as me. And so like her, um, I also like Ari Lennox. It, her voice is a little higher, but I do like Ari Lennox. Sid from the internet. Um, just a, a lot of those people, especially like 
Amy Winehouse is somebody I grew up with and her voice is amazing and I kind of just go with the tones of that and I'm like okay how do they utilize their voice and their range because you know they can go low but they can also go you know higher so I'm just trying to build up my range and look up to them. I think yeah. that was one thing that I noticed listening to your music was yeah. you, you have a very broad range and you're you're able to kind of you know navigate the music and kind of follow along the music yeah. with that range so mm -hmm. I think that's super impressive. Thank you, thank yeah. you, <laughs> appreciate it. Um, so do you have any upcoming releases or singles or music videos to look forward to? Yeah, so right now I am doing a music video for Lost and I'm actually doing this all kind of by myself with, uh, I have help from a guy named Jacob Sanders and also PJ. They've been helping me out, they've been filming and they've been helping me with editing and all that good stuff. So I'm trying to do this all by myself just because I am a VCT major. So I'm, I'm just trying to dibble and dabble and all that stuff and I really like music videos. Mm -hmm. So just being able to do that is just really amazing. And that's supposed to be coming out pretty soon. I'm still working on it. So, but I'm working on that now. And I also have a couple songs coming up. And I'm trying to figure out if I want to do an EP or just release a whole bunch of singles before the end of the year, but yeah, there's some stuff coming up. Slow dance, kaleidoscope night, with no chance to plant your feet, and the DJ is fast asleep. So you mentioned that you were a VCT major. Yeah. So I was just wondering, you know, what what exactly you focus on, if you have a focus or, yeah. you know, if you have a special interest. Right. So VCT is visual communication technology. Um, they specialize in video, photography, print, interactive media. And I found myself really interested in video. And I just love, like, the way people, like, storytell and all that stuff through visuals. And I think video is gonna be the main thing now just because like TikTok and you know what I'm saying? Even, I even heard like uh, the CEO of Instagram, they're saying like, they're gonna start making their Instagram more, you know, visual and video based just because of how TikTok was so big. And I just think video is just gonna be up there for sure. And plus I just really like it and I, I just really wanna go into that, especially like music videos and just storytelling. I just love that. So yeah, yeah that's what I've been into. Do you think uh, like TikTok is almost like the new VH1 or like the new MTV. <laughs> yes, yes, and it, I think it absolutely helps artists as well to like get their music out there. Like it's crazy where you have a snippet of a song and everybody's playing it and now you're getting like a whole bunch of views and it's amazing and it's amazing to see people actually like being seen because sometimes these people are, you know, they just put their songs on there and you're not thinking too much of it. But now a whole bunch of people are seeing this and liking it and now they're going on their platforms and stuff. And I just think that's amazing. I really like that aspect of it. Have you had any songs that have had some like traction on, vi or on you know, social media? Oh yeah. Okay, so yes, Lost got a lot of traction. And I basically, I was like in my scarf and I was like, hey, listen to Lost and not expecting anything to happen. Then I'm seeing all these views, as soon as I wake up, they're like, oh my gosh, this is crazy, this is good, this and this and this. And I was like, wow, this is amazing, but you picked the worst video of all of them. I'm just over here just looking crazy. But um, it was really nice just to see people like supporting me just from all over. There was people who, from South Africa, they were like, oh, sending love from South Africa. And there's people from like China, they were just, reaching out to me it was amazing i just love that and i love that my music is reaching out to people and is meaningful for them even though like this is so personal to me it was like meaningful to other people so i really like that yeah i, th yeah. I think that's uh something that your music can do uh, yeah. you have those very personal songs that you know a lot of people can relate to and then you also have like these bops that people yeah. can just dance to which yeah. is like really really awesome uh, okay.
for speaking to me yeah um, no problem yeah thank i appreciate you. it and thanks for performing today thank you i appreciate you uh, if you want to shout out any anything that you got coming up you can oh yeah so um follow me on all platforms um it's nashe iman on all platforms um and i'm having my lost music video coming out very soon so i'll make sure to update everybody on that but yeah that's all i got thank you for watching live and loud with nashe iman um, presented by the Music Industry Club and WBGU-FM. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a good night. Nice. <laughs>